Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Meet the Morgans. We are currently in the car. Jess is driving for a change. This very rarely happens. So look out. <laughs> I had to nip out to grab the coffee, so Jess is in the driving seat. But we are on our way to the hospital, to Bangkok Siraj Hospital, uh, where we are having a checkup. Tell we them more, baby. Uh, 37 weeks, pregnant. Can you see that? It sounds so, uh, Rob's t-shirt as well. <laughs> If you're pregnant, you know. Husband's t-shirts are the best. <laughs> um, it feels so weird. 37 weeks. This pregnancy has just like flown by. It's going so quick, especially these, these last oh, few weeks. Because we're getting right towards D-Day. Yeah. And every little twinge and pain, I'm like, is this it? Sure. Baby's head is down from last appointment. So it'd be interesting to see what it's doing this time. He's applying some pressure, trying to work his way out of there. So in today's appointment, we'll have another little look to see where he is, yeah. see what position he's in. Hopefully we'll be able to film it for you. Uh, we'll show you the hospital that we're going to give birth at. And come along with us with our checkup. <laughs> yeah, let's check out let's the checkup. Check <laughs> <laughs> this ambulance has just been having its lights on the whole time. I swear if I was an ambulance, I would just put them on, put my siren on. Wherever I go, get out of my way. When Jess sees an ambulance come in, she gets right in front of the ambulance. No, no, the no. Not behind the ambulance, no. in front of the ambulance. So <laughs> this the road's time I am in front. But the trick is, you go right behind an ambulance so you can ride that ride. Yeah, the but your trick way. is getting in front of the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never go in front. It's just this time. Because he was going slow. <laughs> The ambulance is here, like, they, they don't care. They Jess, just... Jess is driving has calmed down a lot since mm -hmm. I met her. She used to be an absolute lunatic. Now she's just a semi-lunatic, but it has, it has got better, isn't it, since you became a mother? Yeah. And you uh, <laughs> started to respect your life a little bit more. Summer and is my always life. telling me, oh, sorry. Summer is always telling me to slow down. <laughs> slow down! Just uh, waiting to go in and see the doctor. Obviously, giving birth here in Thailand is a little bit different than giving birth in Australia. Two and a half years ago, we had summer in Australia, uh, obviously in an Australian hospital, so things are a lot different here. We haven't really been um, we're just, uh, told. Yeah. <laughs> we're going through, like, what do we need to ask him? And we're like, oh my god, like, do we. <laughs> What do we do when we're in labor? Every appointment we ha we've had up until now is very sort of blase. Yeah, yeah. Um, just <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine, don't worry. So any, any sort of question we've, we've had. Sure. So we don't really know what the procedure is for coming in. We, we haven't been shown um, the maternity wards. But it is, so it's just a little bit different um, this time around than it was when we were in Australia, obviously. So we're just making a list of questions because obviously we're only two and a half weeks out and uh, the baby could come at any time. Um, so we just just wants to feel a little bit more uh, comfortable and yeah. uh, some assurances from the doctor. A kilo more mm. than oh two God. weeks ago. Mm. That's like summer's birthday. Happy. Oh, 
week. It's close to the placenta, so uh, that we have a little space that can show like the So we've just come out of the doctors. What's the update? Good news. Baby's uh, head down still, thank God. I was worried that he had uh, flipped around. And yeah, he's growing. Oh, he's growing at three a kilos. crazy rate. He's three, three kilos. kilos already. I think last time he was like 2.5. 2.5. He was 2.5 kilos last time. So and, half and a kilo summer, heavier. Summer was 3.4 when she was born. 3.435. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried about how big he's going to be when he comes out but so if that's another half <laughs> if that's another half a kilo well, he's in two weeks oh that's not bad it's still three and a half kilos it's about the same no wonder i'm like feeling so so much pressure and i can't even walk i'm like waddling in the <laughs> it's gonna be a big boy um but yeah everything's all good um we've got a little bit of his face in it as well yeah a little bit squished. Yeah, we haven't really. Last time we got really good 3D pictures of Summer, but this time, oh, every time he's like hiding behind the placenta or whatever. But yeah. So what's next? We have to come back. And oh, oh, uh, he said not this week. <laughs> not this week, definitely. Sure, not this week. <laughs> <laughs> not this week. Maybe so we have to come week. back next week. So every week. Every week now. From now yeah. on. Um, because um, the cervix is still. Thick. Thick, is that what you said? <laughs> it's not, it hasn't started to, I don't know the terminology here, don't come at me, but <laughs> it hasn't started to. But he's, de he's definitely not coming this week, we've got the doctor's word, so. So not happening anytime soon, thankfully, but uh, that just means another, another week at least of being uncomfortable, well, another couple of weeks really, if I go full term, which I probably will. Um, can I please have just one glazed? It's a little treat for being a good girl. <laughs> I don't agree with this personally. So we just thought we would tell you a little bit about the pricing structure here. Obviously, um, in terms of the costs. Uh, of giving birth and having a baby here in, in Phuket in Thailand. So we're here at uh, Bangkok Hospital Siraj, so it's an international hospital, um, quite well renowned um, as far as I know. Mm. One of the, one of the best, well, yeah, the best. The best, uh, not the best, best but uh, <laughs> the best option that, that we can have yeah, yeah. Um, while we're here. Mm. So obviously there's a, there's a cost involved for that. We did, you know, previously we had summer, um, our, our first daughter in Australia. Uh, obviously, we had that on the public health, yeah. on, on Medicare and in Australia. Was all it was covered, but and yeah, even the facilities were just. It was a very, it was a very good experience. Flinders Hospital, it? yeah, in yeah. yeah. So this time, obviously different. We're having to. We've decided to have the baby here, so we're having to uh, pay the costs ourselves. We could have gone with. Uh, I think it's called Mission Hospital and a few other different hospitals that are a little bit more Thai um, and they're, they're a lot cheaper. I think it's like half, less than half the cost of this price here that we're gonna show you now. I feel a little bit more comfortable being in a, a bit of a uh, more like international hospital. And if you're some horror stories as well, right? From horror stories. <laughs> and also, if you want any pain relief in Mission Hospital, as far as I know, you cannot. Like it's either C-section or you do everything naturally with no meds. So here we've got the backup option of I don't want to have an epidural. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I want to try it without an epidural this time. It but. would save us a lot of money if she didn't have the epidural. <laughs> but, but we we'll all see. know. Well, if you've given birth before, you know that you're pretty much begging for it. <laughs> Well, I mean the drugs. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, so let's, let's, uh, let's go over the cost. So um, you give me the cost, and I'll calculate it. All right. So number one, the normal labor package fee is forty-four thousand nine hundred Thai baht. It's for three days and two nights hospitalization. But I mean, that's all plus plus. The forty-four thousand nine hundred Thai baht is um, just less than one thousand two hundred. 
US dollars, around about a thousand uh, British pounds, and it's 1,860 uh, Australian dollars. Which is actually not too bad considering it's a private hospital. You know, back home, I think with private hospitals, you're paying a lot more than that. Yeah, so if you went private in the UK or Australia, it'd be like ten thousand dollars. Yeah, surely. More, yeah, at least or more. Probably, probably more. In, in the UK, it could be. Um, I do remember looking uh, last time, and it may be more fifteen to twenty thousand pounds. So it's a lot, Ouch. lot uh, cheaper doing it here. And from from what we've seen and what we've been told, um, the they service, really take care of you here, like the, yeah. the standards here, and the rooms—they look like uh, the hotel. It's rooms. like a hotel room, yeah. It's like a hotel room rather than a, rather than a hospital room. Yeah. We'll put the prices up so that you can see the details. Yeah, that's well. is the that's the no mistake. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll put the prices up so that you can see those as that well. Is, that's no pain relief or anything as well. Box standard birth so. delivery three days two nights that's what we're going for so we need to make sure that when we get to the hospital we are ready to push him out yeah <laughs> um so if you wanted an epidural uh it's twenty six thousand nine hundred baht for four hours only. ouch wow yeah for four thousand uh for four, four hours. hours so twenty six thousand nine hundred baht that's seven hundred and fifteen uh us dollars six hundred and twenty pounds <laughs> 1,114 Australian dollars. If I don't get the epidural, can you pay me that? That'll be your bonus. My push present? That'll be your push present, yeah. We can... We can Negotiate. We can make better use of that money, but of course... <laughs> I if, can make better use of that money. <laughs> if we do need the pain relief, then um, yeah. That's and, four uh, hours, so what, anything on top anything of that. Anything on top, after four hours, it's going to be 5,000 baht per hour. Which is 130 US dollars, 115 British pounds, and 207 Aussie. I can't remember how long it took after. It was a while after I got the epidural last time, wasn't it? Like when I got the epidural with Summer's birth, I feel like it was still hours after that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was three, three or four hours. Oh, okay, so it could be good. Yeah, three or four hours. Okay. So. Um, yeah, obviously depending on what happens on the day, whether we need the epidural and the pain relief or not, that's going to be um, added on top. And then any complications, any, what you else know what, would you need? You know what they're like, you know, they want to give episiotomies when it's not even necessary or vacuum extractions if it's not coming out quick enough. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like there could be some uh, persuasion yeah, you, you have to remember you that this um, this is a pr private a, international hospital, it's so it's, it's a business, right? So at the end of the day, uh, they're, they're here to make money. So we're going to have to try and stand firm on a few things. Obviously, we want the natural birth as much as we can. And any sort of additional procedures that they um, might then use... Um, recommend. Or, or recommend. We, we, we want to try and... You know, if it's needed, obviously we, we'll yeah, do it. But they also, like we've been saying all along, is they also in Thailand like to do C-sections, and you know, especially here as well in this hospital. So I feel like you know they might possibly be the push for a, a cesarean section. Yeah, we we've known people that have given birth here, and obviously the doctor tells them right. The cord is around the neck, yeah, or, or what, the baby's heart drops. The baby's heartbeat is dropped. Heartbeat so, drops. That, yeah. so obviously you don't really know. Um, you just and have to take the doctor's. Yeah. You just have to take the doctor's advice. Um, but as, as much as we can, we're gonna we're gonna try and do it naturally to uh, to avoid the C-section. If so, if we were to though. So if we were to have a C-section, which can also be booked in. Um, in advance, in advance, if yeah. we decided, what's the cost of that? The cost of a just a normal C-section birth is uh, fifty-four thousand nine hundred baht. Fifty-four nine hundred. So that is that's wrong. Fifty-four thousand hundred bucks. What? Refresh that. One hundred thirty-two US bargain. I'll be looking that. <laughs> <laughs> Good old XE.com providing the exchange rate for us today. So 54,900 <laughs> 54, baht is 1,460 US dollars, 1,260 British pounds, and it's 2,275 Australian dollars. So 
a little bit more expensive than, than the natural birth, but not much. It's four days and three nights as well. So I'm pretty sure back home you would be staying like four nights at least with a Four seat. days, three nights. Yeah, three Obviously nights doesn't seem like much if you're being cut open. Yeah, you need that extra time for um, Hats for off recovery. to anyone that has C-section births. That freaks me out. Circumcision? Circumcision as well, yeah, we, so we have to pay for that. It's not on this one, but I remember they gave it to us last time and it was... 13,000 Thai baht, so, I'm pretty sure roughly. 13,000 baht on top is 345 uh, USD, it's 300 pounds and it's 540 Aussie dollars. So again that's on top of the natural birth package and on top of the potential um, epidural. epidural. Hopefully not. So, this guy, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see a man in labour. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, so hopefully that gives you a rough idea of, of the costs. Obviously, um, once we've had the birth, we'll see uh, whether there are any complications, hopefully not, um, whether we needed the, the pain relief yeah. um, and, and how things panned out. So, you know, post birth, we'll give you a little bit of an update as well on, on how things went. Yeah, and you'll also see it on the, the birth log if we are able to. Yeah, so we're also planning to document uh, the birth with, with a vlog as well. So again, luckily here we're allowed to record. record yeah. um, so we'll see what sort of state we're in when we're in the in the stay in the tuned. birth ward. Yeah, so stay tuned, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can we can document that. Could be a big and, drama and a if it was insight. anything like last time. Yeah. <laughs> Jess was ready. not in any state to be talking to the camera uh, last time. No, I'm going to be good but this time. You watch. Obviously, she's a lot more. Um, I know what to confident in herself this time, this time because she knows what to expect and you've been through it before. Yeah, I've uh, I've got a lot more prepared this time in terms of uh, like natural pain relief. Just making sure I've got like ample. Tools, Breathing the techniques, <laughs> tens, tens, tens machine. machine I didn't have last time. So you're so also going to do another vlog on what you've got on prepared, what I'll pack right? In my my bag and also the baby's bag. Yeah, I'll probably do it in a different vlog. It might be a bit long this one. That is our 37 week appointment done. Give you a little bit more of an insight into what it's like to prepare to give birth in Thailand. We really hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to our channel and be sure not to miss out on any future videos. Leave a comment in the box below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know uh, if you'd like to see anything else. Or if you've if you got any, any questions, stories, or experiences from giving yeah. birth in a foreign country yourself as well, we'd love, we'd to, love to hear from you. See ya! See, ya. see, see you in the next, next video! video. <laughs> Are we saying see you together? See Bye. ya! <laughs>